Okay, I'm back, and um, I just realized that I've. First of all, my mic is really low volume and that really sucks. And um, I also realized that. Uh, what is it? Um, I also realized that. Uh, I wasn't recording audio, so I'm gonna have to put that all in by myself, and this sucks. But you know, it's okay. I'll manage somehow. Okay. Although, what made you decide to tell me? It was time. I'm here to talk, take you to Hogwarts. I don't know what the quick save is, but I'm just going to save in a new one. Oh man, I don't know which ones are like actual ones and which ones are. Oh wait, I can just tell for the day. I was overwrite number four. Cool. Although I was time, she not told me. You can trust me. Well, I can't trust. I can't trust. Just getting yeah, very much. Okay, I'm here to take you to Hogwarts. You've never seen anyone so excited in your life. Really, really, really. When do we leave? Very soon, I'll let you know. <laughs> you have to pass an extra entrance exam first. She's super excited, that's so funny. Actually, is it now good? How about now? Let's leave now. <laughs> Very soon, you have to pass an extra entrance exam. Very soon. Promise, promise you'll let me know. Oh, this is everything I dreamed. Oh. Oh. Go here. I'm here to take you to Hogwarts. You have to pass an entry exam. Okay, tell me what, what I have to do. Frick! No! I can't even give her a fake entrance exam! She just dies! No! Hello? Um. None of the level's good, okay. How about now? Let's leave now. You don't have to ask me twice. You face your burgers and head out to Hogwarts. Oh. 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 No, I'm not doing that. Okay, let's load from 4 again. Now let's... Let's see if, um... Well, I'm not doing that. Okay, uh, quick, quick load, quick save, menu, which one should I do? Huh. Hmm. Menu sounds good. No, I'll probably load for my quick save. Okay. I'm glad I didn't die and all. But how do I know you're really a wizard? Do something magical. Wow, I think I've gone for like all of these. Wait. What the hell are you sent us at Hogwarts? Oh ho ho. The jaw chops open. How did you know? Right. Wizard. Okay, I'm convinced. Wow. I, ex I never expected that one of my friends was a real wizard. Don't worry, I won't tell anyone. I'm here to take you, I'm here to save your life. Well, you're certainly done you've certainly done a good job of that so far. I mean thanks and all. I didn't I don't want to seem ungrateful, but what's this all about? I just saw you in trouble and helped. Wizards killed and all that. There are some weird magical vibes still going on here. We should go somewhere safer. I don't want to alarm you, but I think someone has been trying to kill you with magic. Don't mind me just putting often never the Well Here let's quick save here because this is interesting. Okay, so you in trouble now, Twizzles Cut and all that. Oh wow, that's so cool! I can't believe I know an actual wizard who got who got my letter and everything. So if I if you got my letter, does that mean you live at Hogwarts? Do you work there? Are you here to take me away to there? Yep, Hogwarts time! Let's go there now! In fact, I'll help you get settled in. 
Well, it's complicated. No, I mostly just said that because I need you to believe me. Hmm. <laughs> oh. Wait. What? Oh. Well, that certainly didn't work out. I don't mind to love you, but I saw you in trouble, and I just went into head. Well, it's complicated. Oh, how complicated? Exactly. That complicated. Okay. Yep, Hogwarts time. This is the best day ever. Yes, if you want, if you got an invitation invitation by a wizard to go to Hogwarts, would you go? Leave your so leave your leave what you think in the comments below. And um, well, I'd like to know what you think because if I got an invitation, I'd probably go. <laughs> so, hmm, I don't know. I still like making videos so. Anyways, yes, there's a car. Obviously, you can't leave. It's like, oh my gosh, this is like, it's this is a playing field, and if you leave, boom, you can't go anywhere else. There's some magical vibes here. You should go somewhere safer. Okay, you're the expert at wizardly life-saving techniques. Where should we go? Maybe we should find an our restaurants. Actually, it's probably safer if we left quickly and you went home as fast as you can. <gasps> oh no, it looks like you're going to die if you leave also. Uh-oh. Oh! Oh no! Can't you just, I don't know, magic me out of that one too? What should we do? We should just stay here and so We should beg for it and hope I'm wrong. Actually, it looks like you're doomed no matter what you do. That's unfortunate. We should make... Is that the best idea? Do you, th do you think you're wrong? <laughs> Probably not. That doesn't sound reassuring. Maybe we should just stay here. Yeah. We're magical vibes. We should find an iron present. You're the expert. If, if you think we should go somewhere, that's good enough for me. You finish your... Well. Magical vibes. And we should go home. If you say so. I know I should be terrified, but this is actually kind of exciting. Well, I don't mean that someone is trying to kill you with magic. She gives you a blank look. What does that mean? In non-wizard speak, I mean. Am I still in danger? No, I think everything. No, I don't know. I'm, yes, actually, I'm pretty sure you're doomed either way. Like, dead doomed? Or just really bad day doomed? Because when you say it like that, it makes it sound like you mean... I don't like me to alarm you, but don't mind me, I'm just trying to put off the never. That's a creepy way to put it. I mean, I know all life is transient, is transient, and everyone transient, transient. And everyone I know will one day be dead, and woe is me, I can hear the howling of the void, etc, etc. But it's not the kind of thing I like to have rubbed in my face or think more about than I have to, you know? Sorry, I'm just in a morbid sort of mood, I guess. It'll pass. Oh, sorry, I mean, in the meaning of the abstract. I mean, you're going to die today either way, no matter what I do. I haven't figured out how to stop it yet. Oh. Really? Yes. Very sad. Well, um. Wow, I'm trying to like everything here. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just in a morbid mood. Yeah, I guess I can understand that. Although, to be honest, if anyone is, has the right to be morbid today, it's me. So cheer up, you. Yeah, I know, I'm actually pretty sad. She went dying. Let's skip, I don't want to do that. <laughs> Let's start over again. Hello? Oh, you're early. You must be calling about tonight. I meant to ask where we were meeting. 
I know we were planning on having dinner, but we never decided where. Where are we having dinner? Actually, I don't think we changed the plans. We can't go to dinner tonight. It is too dangerous. What do you mean, too dangerous? Is this some kind of weird joke you're playing on me? I can never really tell when you're joking or when you really mean something. Well, I was thinking about driving. Thinking maybe we could go for a drive or something instead of dinner. If you go to dinner until you'll die, I can't put up, put any point. You're in terrible, you come with me if you want. You're in terrible, Jenja. Come with me if you want to leave. <laughs> well, well, I was just thinking maybe uh, we can quick save and then we can talk about it. Go to dinner drive. Well, that might be fun after, but before we do that, I'm actually kind of hungry. And you did promise we eat somewhere for dinner tonight. So how about if we go to, for dinner first, and then a drive later? No seriously, we can't do that, you might die. Is this some kind of weird death threat? What's going on? You're kind of starting to creep me out here. It's complicated, but no, I'm not kidding. You're a terrible danger, we need to get some to say. Look, it's a lot, I don't know what's going on, but I do know this. If we go out to dinner tonight, one or maybe both of us are going to end up dead. Okay, fine, dinner it is, I'm waiting for how that. No. You're in terrible danger. Okay, this is all pretty weird. I mean, you seem pretty insistent that dinner tonight would be disastrous. And I feel like I'm, I'd be an idiot to just ignore someone talking to me about dying. About me dying. But this isn't some, this isn't the kind of thing that happens in real life, you know? Someone I've known for a while just coming up and telling me that I'm going to die tonight? I mean, what's going to happen? What, what makes you think I'm going to die? You're going to dinner. For goodness sakes, not a war zone. What's the worst thing that can happen at a simple dinner? Oh, I don't know that stuff. You could get shot. You might get hit by a car before after we leave. <laughs> yeah, true, true, uh, true. Some of these faces have natural gas, which, you know, explodes. True, 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 true. So you probably won't believe any of this. Uh, what should I do? Let's do that. Ha, you worry too much. That's clearly not gonna happen. Uh, where do you even come up with that? Have you just been sitting home all day? Coming up with things that you, that could go wrong tonight? Line up, we're, ha we're just having dinner. There's not a whole lot that can actually go wrong with dinner. No, really, you're gonna die. What can I do to convince you that this is a bad idea? Fine, give up. I give up. No. Okay, let me turn it around then. What can you do to convince me that going to dinner is a bad idea. Sitting here at home after a completely near death experience free day, it's hard to imagine anything really bad happening like you're saying. So what can you say to make me believe you that actually I am in danger, in terrible danger, and somehow you're the only one who knows every anything about it? Hum, now much I guess. Hey how about this? Go pick a random none of a phrase or something I can tell you. I know that you still miss your dad, you used to fantasize about him and your mother coming back together. No, that's... I know about the letter you sent to Hogwarts! Wait, I wanna do this first. Um... I wanna, I wanna get more... I wanna get more, uh... I guess... Yes, more connections, because if... If I can get the random number too, then that'll be good. Go pick a random number. There's a pause, and the sound of someone riffling through the pages of a book. Wow. <laughs> okay, I'll play along. I'm not sure what this will prove though. I have a book here. I've just opened it up to a random page. Now what? Now pick. Now tell me what page you're on. Okay, are we gonna are we doing some kind of fortune cookie thing here? I'm on page one forty four. The first sentence is what's pulling wobblers mean, he said. Not sure what that's supposed to say about our future, but there it is. So now what? Actually, I think I know what. I think I'm going to have dinner. I think you've successfully convinced me that we shouldn't have dinner together. I'm just too weird out now. Let's talk about this later, I guess. This has all been very strange. After a few moments, there's a the sound of an airplane getting closer and closer, followed by one of the loudest noises you've ever heard. The TV in the background switches to an emergency report about the plane crash and fires that are happening right now. Even before the news confirms it, though, you have a pretty good idea of something you do and crash the top. You didn't even get a date, and it still ended in disaster.
Oh my gosh, like, oh man, that gave me shivers. Oh, that's horrible. Okay, um, you're in table danger. Come with me if you want to leave. I can't put it any simpler than that. What? This is really not funny if you're trying to make a joke. Is this some kind of weird death threat? What's going on? You're kind of trying to creep me out here. It's complicated, but no, I'm not kidding. Look, there's a lot. I don't know. Okay, fine. No, I'm not kidding. Okay, this is all pretty weird. I mean, you seem pretty insistent that dinner tonight would be disastrous. And I feel like I'd be an idiot to just ignore someone talking about me dying. But this isn't the kind of thing that happens in real life, you know? Someone I've known for a while is coming up and telling me that I'm going to die tonight? I mean, what's going to happen? What makes you think I'm going to die? We're going to dinner, for goodness sakes, not a war zone. What's the worst that can happen at a simple dinner? Oh, you know bad stuff, you could get shot, you might get hit, but you can get hit by a car. Ha, huh, you worry too much. That's clearly not going to happen. Where did you even come up with that? Have you just been sitting home out? Have you just been sitting to the home today? Come and go f up with things that can go wrong tonight. Line up, we're just having dinner. There's not a whole lot that can just go wrong. Alright, I should probably just slow. Let's slow here. So what can you So what can you say that will make me believe you that actually I'm in terrible danger and somehow you're the only one who knows anything about it? Uh, I want to go through another thing. There's a pause, and you go through a book. Okay, you open to page 144. The top of the page reads, What's polling wobblers mean? He said. There's stunned silence for a moment. How did you... Are you looking into my room somehow? That's... That's really not cool, okay? Really not cool. <laughs> I'm stalking you through a window. Okay, that is really creepy. Okay, I looked out my window. Hopefully nobody's looking out there. Okay. I think we're done here. I am not having dinner with a weirdo stalker. Good night. After a few- Oh. Well, that did not work out. Let's try something different. I know, yeah, you once sent to let it to Hogwarts. What? How would you know that? About that? Oh god, have you- Somehow I've been reading in my diary? Or are you some kind of creepy stalker or something? She thinks I'm a stalker! She- <laughs> I'm not a stalker! Why won't you just- Why would you believe me? We're friends, aren't we? Well, congratulations, I guess. You've convinced me that having dinner with you is probably a bad idea. Oh, yeah, we'll talk about this tomorrow. Maybe. I can deal with this right now. Let's just skip, I don't want to do that. <laughs> Hello? Oh, you're early. You must be calling about tonight. I meant to ask where we were meeting. I know we were planning on having dinner, but we never decided where. Where are we having dinner? Uh... Oh my gosh, let's just go back to the burger place. Because I know, I just know that if we, because of the things we did differently. And also there was stuff we could have done anyways. Um, I'm here to take you to Hogwarts. How the what made you decide to tell me? Oh, this is. Oh man, I'm totally gonna play through this again. Like, this read for these. These are so cool. Yeah, okay, well, that's not the right place, so. Let's load the game on 3 then. Did it ask if you. Uh, no. Let's not do that one. Menu 2. No, frick! Oh no! Oh no, I saved over it. Okay, she ducks down, and then here we go. I can just save here. Yes, over right there, and there we go. Good, perfect. Perfecto, amazing, moi, moi. Okay, <laughs> then what's your turn? I didn't, I was just making a joke. Okay, I know for certain that these keep on appearing, the one with I was just making a joke, and that's not really gonna help, but I wanna see what it says. All right. I forgot. <laughs> well, I'm gonna load game in two. Okay. I'm actually from the future. I write in the wizard thing. I. Wow, really? Are you serious? That's a pretty incredible claim. Do you have any way to prove that? 
I mean, I'm really grateful that you just saved my life and all. But this whole thing is still pretty weird. How do I know you're really from the future? Tomorrow's winning lottery number 16, 15, 14, 9, 5, 19. That's not gonna help. The Giants are going to win the playoffs. Again. Next season of Game of Thrones is not very good. No. <laughs> yeah. Whatever. Okay, that's pretty convincing. Or it will be tomorrow anyway, if you're right. She pauses. For the moment, the only sound is the hustle and bustle of the restaurant. Punctuated by a brief clatter as one of the servers stumbles and drops a stack of plates. Felicia seems not to notice. That is something I'm going to use. I'm feeling kind of rattled here tonight. Anyway, let's go home. I'll call you tomorrow. After I've checked your winning number. You finish your burgers and head out, but she dies. Good thing I heard that. I'm totally going to use that. You see that server over there? In about 30 seconds, she's going to slip and drop a whole bunch of plates. Wait, really? You're serious? She turns around to look. It looks fine to me. It's just some kind of... The server tips. And she goes down with a loud clagger. Clagger. Dropping a full load of plates. I... How did you do that? Seriously, how did you do that? Are you really for real? About being from the future? Why are you telling me this? What is this all about? I saw you in trouble and helped out. Time trousers, code, and all that. I think these are different. Yeah, these are different. Okay, I'm going to quick save. Okay. I don't know. I don't want to alarm you, but I'm a time cop and someone's trying to time murder you. That one sounds stupid. <laughs> Honestly, I'm trying to figure out why you died at the end of every time I have seen. And if there's anything I can do about it. This is gonna sound weird, but I need your help to convince convince past you to trust me in that I'm not a stinking creepy stalker! <laughs> Wait. Wait, I think I skipped text. Oh. You know, this second thing just keeps getting more and more convoluted. Convoluted. Ah, so good. Uh, pronouncing these words. Uh, I'm sorry. Convoluted. Convoluted. I know what it means and I I just can't say it right. Convoluted. 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 <laughs> okay. <sighs> please, please just like, I've made so many mistakes with these words. If you can make a video response telling me how to say them, I would be grateful. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a horrible, um... So this must mean you have a plan, except I won't go along with it? Probably because you started it before you saved my life, and I'm too weird enough to listen to it? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Basically, past you is a kind of fair, and as it turns out, yes, I need to use Yes. Oh man, this is so cool. You're totally making a paradox here, you know that? You're not gonna get in trouble with your time boss for this, are you? Who get over it. He's pretty understanding. I don't have a time boss, I'm more of an independent operator. I'm going to save. Um. Yeah. Okay. Yes, this is the one with the creepy soccer one. Okay, let's do that one. Okay, cool. It's here. You're not gonna get in trouble with your time loss, are you? Who go over it? You play this one by the book. You. You play this one by the book. You hear? Or he'll have your badge. You're a loose cannon. Seriously though, I hope you won't get in trouble for this. Okay, so we need to come up with something you can tell me. That there's no way you could know, unless something truly weird was going on. So anything I've ever told anyone or written down is out. Let me think. Hmm, this is hard. Maybe your secret lucky number? How about something random, like, I don't know, your something like that? Did you ever talk about anything about going to Hogwarts with anyone? Maybe something about your dad. Hmm, no, I don't think that would work. I actually had mom proof your, proofread my letter and help me mail it. Except, I do remember that I thought the entrance to Hogwarts was up on Moore's Hill, up outside of town. Oh, it's the Hogwarts? <laughs> Why is there so much Harry Potter reference? 
this is okay. Since there was, since there aren't any trains around here, you know, I can't get in at the train station. So I think I convinced myself they'd have to come, they'd have to come pick me up by airlift, like in one of their magical flying cars or something. I always imagined myself standing up on the hill in one of those ridiculous scarves, and Hagrid or someone swooping down and carrying me off to a magical place where I could fix everything. I don't think that was ever, I don't think that was ever important enough that I, I ever told anyone about it. But I'm pretty sure that if you asked me about the local Hogwarts pickup stop, I'd know what you mean, and be cu really curious about how you knew. Will that work? Perfect, I shall do the trick. I hope so. Guess we'll find out. I hope it works. I mean, obviously, I guess. Tell me if there's anything else I can do. Please not die. Okay, let's quick save again, quick load, and then... Um, I don't want to alarm you, but I'm a time cop. No, I'm seriously trying to figure out. Just going to somewhere, but I need to help convince you. Okay, that sounds pretty grim. Do you know how this one ends? Not yet. You're probably happy and you're not knowing. Actually, if you want to wait just a moment, you can see for yourself. Right about now. If you leave, if, if you say the building explodes. Oh. That sounds rather abrupt. Yeah. It is. I want to be creepy about this. Okay. Yes. Besides. Oh man, this is so cool, we're totally making paradox. I don't have a boss, I'm more of an independent independent looker. Whoa, so you're like a time vigilante? You're even cooler than I thought. How cool did you think I was? Huh? Okay. Okay, so we need to come up with something you can tell me. That there is no way you can know, unless something truly weird was going on. So anything I've ever told anyone or ran down is out. Let me think. Hmm, this is hard. Where is it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe you secret like you never have something totally random. Maybe something about your dad. Did you ever tell anyone about going to Hogwarts? How about your local Hogwarts pickup stuff? Oh wow, that takes me back. Wow, how did you even know about that? Oh, right. You're uh yeah, never mind. Okay, let me think. Yeah, I think that should work. I'm pretty sure that was never important enough to ever write down, even in my diary. And I certainly would have been too embarrassed to mention it to anyone. If you need to get me to trust you, or, or at the very least, I pique my interest, that should do the trick. I mean, I already trust you now, more so after the whole life saving day. But I bet if you mentioned the Hogwarts pickup, you'd get my attention even if you hadn't even gone out to dinner yet and had such an Interesting, even. Perfect, I should do the trip. Yay! Yay! I'm glad I could help. So this will help save my life? Hopefully it will. Let's go and return to the future. Past. Future. No, man, let's just go back. He's pretty understanding. That's good. Okay, so we need to come up with something you can tell me. That isn't... Okay. Go. I don't want to mind me, but I'm, I'm, uh, let's just try this. You do know how absurd that sounds, right? Yes. I mean, I'm grateful about the life saving and all, and so I'm going to be extremely honest with you. Okay, and so I'm going to be extremely honest with you. In our time, now, I mean, adding time, to the front of everything just makes it sound silly. Like you're a Williams and Shatner movie or something? William Shatner movie? I don't know. Who's, who's William Shatner? Hello. But okay, okay, I'm sorry. I'm getting caught up on details. And I'm not trying to insult your home time. I'm just kind of on edge from the whole almost dying thing. Yeah, that's okay. So what, what do we do now? All uh, you have to do now... Uh, all... <laughs> I'll have you know that in my time, time murder is considered a terrifying phrase. 
I think I'm gonna need you to take you to a projective time custody final. What would you call getting someone killed by messing with their timeline? Let's save here. Fine, what would you call someone kill, killed by messing with their timeline? Seriously? You're serious? I mean, almost anything, I guess. Anything is better than time murder. Off the top of my head, for example, Chrono Kill sounds, like, way cooler. At least 10% cooler, maybe even double that. And that's just off the top of my head. Any advanced time-traveling civilization worth its salt ought, ought to be able to be more capable of coming up with better ideas like, over dinner. <laughs> uh, oh, I can congratulate you. Okay. <sighs> A great mind has been lost. Okay. What do you do now? Okay, I'm gonna take you into protective time custody. What's everything I've just time murdered? I'll have you know that in my time, time murder is your careful increase. Okay, fine then. Have it your way. Just so I know, is your time in the past or in the future? Hey, if it's in the future, and if I try to come up with a better phrase, and people like it better, and you say it's dead, will that irrevocably. irrevocably. Oh my gosh. I'm so gonna just like. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep on having to cut out and like. Go and look these words up. Okay. It's okay though. Will that irrevocably alter the. I think that just means like. Will that alter. Like, very greatly change the course of. The course of the hit of history? So you never come back to save me? Or maybe you'll come back, but you'll be wearing an eye patch or something, or have a Russian accent. Actually, I do prefer not to try that. I can change the trivial details about time, but the general shape of history usually preserves. You can I really change the person and stuff. Okay, um, no, the future is right is writ in stone. The phrase "time reader is as unchangeable as the cyber monkey uprising or the discovery of old Neil, New Hampshire. Time doesn't work like that. It's more, I don't know, timeline winding. <laughs> Actually, I prefer that. You can change your rules. Actually, I prefer not to try that. Spoil sport. <laughs> uh... okay, try this. Yes! So there is hope for the future. What? <laughs> Really? <laughs> okay, now you're just making this up. But okay, let's leave. Especially if you know so much safe. This place is starting to creep me out anyway. After, you know, almost dying and all. You finish your burgers in half. Yes, that's where I have it. Okay, let's try it. Okay, another break for my computer because, you know, um, it has problems, so I'm pro I'm going to, uh, I'm going to, um, I'll be right back, but you probably won't see it, but I'll, I, I'll be right back.